Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and let's steep some tea. Okay, so today I just wanted to pop on here and do something a little fun because yesterday I got a nice happy mail surprise. So I got my very first order of Adagio teas in the mail yesterday. I'm so excited. So I thought I might share it with you guys. And if you're an Adagio fan, maybe you can let me know what some of your favorite teas are. As I mentioned before, my toddler and my husband are home, so it might get a little loud upstairs, but let's just do this. So we're gonna start with a staple in my household, which is an Irish breakfast tea. I love Irish breakfast, English breakfast, all the breakfasts. Um, and the thing you should know about me is that when I do my black tea, I just do it straight up black tea. I don't add any sweetener, no milk. I tend to oversteep it. I like it as strong as possible and that's just how I drink my tea. So you'll see a little bit of a theme here with the other teas that I, that I went for. Um, but with any company that I have never purchased from, I always want to try their breakfast tea just to get um, an idea of whether or not it's a tea that I would buy in the regular. So, okay. I have been on the hunt for a certain flavor profile. So a few years ago, I tried a tea on a recommendation at a coffee house and it was a beautiful tea. It was the first time I'd ever seen um, blue corn flowers in a tea. And ever since then, I have been on the hunt for a tea with this flavor profile. I wanted to try out these Ceylons because I feel like it might be what I'm looking for. Um, I purchased a tea forte uh, tea that has Ceylon in it and I just thought that maybe maybe that's the flavor so we'll give these a try and see see how it goes okay so I'm so excited about this one this is a gunpowder now the whole reason that I'm purchasing this one is because when we were on our honeymoon in Ireland we ended up discovering this gin that uses gunpowder tea in their distilling process, which is so cool. And ever since we got back from Ireland, that has been our gin of choice. So this, this I'm really excited about. Whenever I go on a new tea site, I always try to look at what their most popular teas are. And they tend to be like the herbal infusions or some crazy flavor. And since I'm a straight up black tea drinker, that doesn't tend to be where my tastes drift towards but I was reading about the profile on this one and thought that might be interesting. So it's the Honey Bush Banana Nut and it is their herbal blend. It has honey bush tea, apple pieces, cinnamon bark, cocoa nibs, natural banana flavor, natural chestnut flavor, and marigold flowers. And it's supposed to taste like a freshly baked muffin. Now, banana nut muffins aren't really necessarily my thing, but my husband loves banana bread, banana muffins. So I actually thought that this might be a great thing for him to try. Um, he is a big, big coffee drinker. So honestly, he really only drinks tea when we go someplace for me that has tea. Um, like on our honeymoon when we went to uh, high tea um, at an actual castle in Ireland, which was pretty cool. Um, but anyway, I thought this might be something we, the both of us could try and who knows, it's so highly rated on Adagio that if they like it, maybe we'll like it. Okay, so this I'm also very, very excited about. This is their cold and flu tea sampler. It has four different teas in it. It has their throat therapy, lemongrass ginger, minty comfort, and speedy recovery. Now, I was most interested in the throat therapy because as somebody who talks for a living, I'm always looking for teas that can help soothe my voice after talking for a long time. And then also with the year, the time of year that it is, having anything that can help with a cold is highly, highly desired in this household. I feel like we've had a cold, the same cold running around this house for six weeks. I get it and then my husband gets it and then my daughter gets it and then I get it again. And it's just, it's just cyclical. Um, so 
The throat therapy has sweet licorice, calming anise, fresh raspberry to soothe your th sore throat. Now, what I thought was interesting about this was the fresh raspberry because recently I tried an, another tea forte, a uh, tea that had raspberry in it. And while the, the smell was really, really strong and overpowering and made me think that I might not like it when you steep it, it's actually very subtle and very pleasing. So I was excited to try that because it, the throat therapy, the throat coat teas tend to be very licorice and anise heavy which is good for your throat, but it's a very strong flavor and it's not necessarily my favorite. So having anything to kind of offset that is is very, very much wanted. Hopefully it doesn't just caught, taste like cough syrup, but we will try it and see. And then Speedy Recovery is a restorative elixir of green tea, ginger, licorice, mint, and fennel. So. That sounds delicious and looking forward to trying that as well. Now the other two, I'm definitely curious to try, but they weren't really anything on my list. But what I thought was interesting was that the Minty Comfort um, is fresh peppermint, echinacea, eucalyptus, and juniper berries, which is actually very similar to what is in the David's Tea uh, Cold 911 blend. So that'll be a nice, a nice thing to try, especially since I like peppermint. Um, it's actually one of the only flavored teas that I, I go to on a regular. And then lemongrass ginger, which is a soothing blend of lemongrass, ginger, and licorice to buttress you in the cold and flu season. I don't think I've actually had anything with lemongrass in it, so that'll be a fun thing to try. And ginger is always a useful thing to have, especially when you have an upset stomach. My sister lived off of ginger tea her first trimester because it was the only thing that would soothe her nausea. So. This is very exciting about this. And then I got this really wonderful surprise in the mail that I wasn't expecting with this order. So when I filled out um, my profile for my order, since I'm a first time customer, they asked for my birthday. And because November is my birthday month, they actually sent me a birthday tea, which is so cool. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten a birthday tea sent to me from a company, which is Super fun. So this has black tea, yum. Natural vanilla flavor, yum. Candy sprinkles, my favorite. Natural cream flavor and natural caramel flavor. So this sounds super, super sweet. It's all the things that I tend to like in a cake. I'm not sure how I'll feel about drinking it, but it'll be very exciting to try. And then also, I got one of their specialty tea blends sent to me um, from their astrology fandom, which is so cool. That's one of the things that I thought was so interesting about the Adagio tea line was that you can order a fandom tea, which is, I mean, if you are a fan of anything, you know that you want to just gobble up anything that you find. I know I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter and anytime I see anything Harry Potter related, I, I want it. So of course they have Harry Potter teas on there as well. I restrained myself. I wanted to try some of the other teas first. There's always time to go back and get more. But this I was also eyeing, so I'm really excited to try it. Um, so this is the Sagittarius, since I'm a November baby, and it has black tea, raspberry pieces, red safflowers, cream flavor, vanilla flavor, bergamot flavor, and raspberry flavor. So again, with the raspberry, that could be right up my alley. So this is, this branching out into more flavorful teas is something very much out of my comfort zone. I just like to drink my, my tea all day, just plain and black. And so this is exciting for me to be able to have new opportunities to try new teas. The only thing that's giving me pause about this one is the bergamot flavor. The only black tea I tend to not want to drink is Earl Grey. And as we all know, Earl Grey bergamot goes hand in hand so we'll see maybe it'll be a nice blend between the raspberry and the bergamot to kind of level things out but this very excited about okay everyone thank you so much for joining me today for this quick little adagio haul i am so excited to try these teas 
Finding new tea companies is so much fun and I've heard nothing but wonderful things about Adagio teas. And for the price point, you really can't beat it. All of these sample sizes were so affordable and then you get to try so many different cups of tea. I believe you get five steepings out of this serving size of one ounce and then their three ounce bags are also super affordable. Those sweet gifts in the mail for the, my birthday, how amazing is that? Like I. I don't get free gifts when I order things from the tea companies, that's awesome. So thank you, thank you Adagio for sending me my birthday gifts. If you are a fan of Adagio teas, comment down below and let me know what your favorite tea is. I'm always on the hunt for new teas and I love hearing what other people like to drink. And if you like videos like this, tea hauls. Personally, I love watching tea hauls because I find it so interesting to see what other people order and what people like. So if you like tea hauls, give this video a thumbs up. So thanks again for joining me and have a great day. Cheers. <laughs> Toddler. <laughs>